man. It's Borka Salia, aka C Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I know you guys saw that title, and yes, it is true. There has been another piece added to the franchise merch collection. I know I'm kind of late to it, but I just got an email that this is the last call for the one dollar CDs, and I was just like, hey, every single time that Travis has went ahead and sent an email out discussing the last call of something he's added like a new piece so i was like hey look let me go ahead and just check this email let me see if there's a new piece if there's a new piece i'm gonna cover it and discuss some of the resale value because the new piece that i saw personally i don't have enough money to go and get it but that would be a piece that i would be targeting for resale value just because of the fact it's different even the light blue one i feel like that one is good for reselling just because it's very unique and i can see a lot of people looking to get it or even just like reselling shops being able to like purchase it off of you to go ahead and hold in a store for other people to come and buy so i'm just gonna go ahead and discuss that but before this video gets started i need you guys to go ahead and smash with that like button we need 100 likes on this video because i really am putting y'all on some free game because i do think both the pieces that are up will go for a decent amount and within the reselling community market stuff and if you're new to the channel make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe i try my best to post each and every single day um you know my content it varies from fashion related content to resale breakdowns to various ways of making money in business videos Videos, of course because you know I haven't made as many because I've been heavy on the fashion tip but trust me they're coming very very soon well but with that being said let's go ahead and get to be started all right guys we ain't gonna waste no more time we're just gonna go ahead you can see I got the laptop out I'm gonna go ahead and get the screen recording going and I'm gonna basically be discussing which one of these pieces or how many of these pieces do I feel like will actually go for something okay so right now we're on this page no, why is it not secure? Go to Travis.com. Want to go ahead and hit that shop? Here we go. All right, all right, all right. So this is essentially everything that they have. There's six. There's only six items. So you got a few CDs. I mean, everything. This first. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, like, pretty sure everything here, especially these, just are just to promote the album and increase like the sales or whatever. You can get the digital single. You can get the deluxe single. You can get the the promo CD, franchise Utopia, whatever, whatever. And of course, very very cheap price. Easy, simple. You can just add it to your order if you want to. Now this is where things get very interesting. So for this, for the um, C J White T basically cactus jack white tea it's three pack to me it's it's cool it's cool and it's simple oh you can't really go into it yeah so it's cool and it's simple right over here we can go ahead and like take a look at it go to the other side and this has cactus jack right over here by the pocket you know it's it's cool it's like his take on like a hanes version of the tea or if like think about like a white polo tea i guess he's trying to like go for that you get a three pack you get to select your size I think that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, lie to you guys, but this, I don't really think these are gonna have any type of real resale value, in my opinion, just cause like the three pack has been up for the whole entire time. And I just, I don't know, like I just don't feel like it will be, or have that type of like resale value that, you know, we're looking for. Now, this piece over here, I'm gonna hold off on this piece cause that's the one that I think can go for a lot, especially with it being the lowest price or whatnot. So we have, we have the Portrait of Travis tie-dye t-shirt, okay? It's washed, cool, nice, screen printed in the front. Now this piece, compared to the last one that was up, I think it was just like a regular white one. This one is pretty hard to me. Just from like the layering, it looks, you know, of like the tie-dye. If they can execute it in this way that it demonstrated, I feel like it's very unique. I feel like a lot of people could wear it and of course everybody's gonna know what this is because it's the face of his album or single cover so i think this is a tough piece i feel like for this piece in particular after taxes and shipping you're probably gonna be looking at like 67 to maybe like 70 dollars i feel like maybe you can sell it for like in the hundreds at the lowest i feel like that is most definitely possible because you know travis he's been hot right now his pieces have been going for a good amount yes a lot of the things have been in like the pre-order basis but I, I don't know like i just feel like i feel like this this item will sell for a lot it is nice it's cool however the best item if i had to choose any of the three that are available right here would most definitely be 
the portrait of Travis WIP t-shirt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in, take a quick look at this. It says Travis Scott franchise, George Condo. And then if we look at the back, you have like the same little mock-up of this one, but it is in like a, like just like a, I guess a black and white colorway and has the cactus jack right over here. I feel like a lot more people would be able to wear this. It's kind of more simple in the front, has some more uniqueness to it, and it has this nice cool design in the back. Like for me, not only would I want this for personal, but I still feel like it will go for a good amount of resale. Cause think about it, it's $45, let's say with tax and everything, let's say max paying like $55. I'm pretty sure you should be able to like, quote unquote, easily go ahead and and so you're like a, like you should be able to sell this for like at least a bill, you know what I mean? Even if you sell for 80, 90, you're still gonna be making a, almost a 200% return. Um, and I feel like you're basically gonna be straight either way you kind of choose to go with this piece. And yeah, so if I have to say anything, throughout the duration of the pieces that have been dropping, I haven't been, I've been peeping them, but I haven't been too in tune with them because a lot of them I'm just like, uh, it's like a hit or miss. Um, like he had like the ten dollars shirts. Like one size fits all. Low key, those would have been a smart flip. Because even if you buy them for like, if you buy like I don't know, like ten, hundred dollars right there, you should be able to sell all of them. Maybe twenty, thirty dollars a piece. Who knows? But yes, most definitely, this middle piece is where I think everything is at. If you're trying to go ahead, thinking about a piece to go ahead and resell, and you've been seeing the pieces coming through. Either one of these is a safe bet. I'll put more of my money towards the portrait of Travis, the WIP one versus the, you know, the tie-dye one. And that's how I'm feeling. All right, guys, so in all, I just want to go ahead and conclude it. And it's a very, very simple way. So, of course, those are the two pieces from, like, the whole entire collection. Because I have been keeping up with it. I just haven't posted a video yet. These are probably the two pieces that I feel like out of all of the pieces that he's dropped, he's probably dropped, like, a cool to promote his album and all that. I would say about six different pieces. Um, he had the Yup. He had the other $10 t-shirt. He had, like, two more versions of the franchise tees and then you had these so i think it was a total of either five or six pieces in total and out of all of them of course the ten dollar ones those were low-key like I, I was just like yeah this ain't really gonna sell or nothing but for the short amount of time that he left them up if you're able to get it i feel like you can be able to sell it for at least something decent because think about it to make to make a, a 200 percent return on your money all you have to do is sell it for like 25 30 dollars so like Loki, I wasn't even thinking like that. I feel like they're simple, cool Travis tees that I feel like are nice. Um, when it comes to these, that the newest one that was released today is most definitely the hardest one out of them all. But the little blue tie-dye painted colorway is most definitely a sleeper. Uh, I mean, it might not even be a sleeper. I feel like most of you guys might be able to vouch for that and be like, like these two pieces are most definitely the ones that are probably gonna go for the most. I didn't really think he was gonna release any more, but knowing Travis, he always has like tricks up his sleeve, so respect to that. But anyways, guys, I got two questions for you guys. One, let me know if you went ahead and copped any of these pieces, like throughout the duration from the before the song, like the pre-order pieces, like like the pieces that dropped before the song dropped and then pieces that dropped after. Um, also, let me know if you're gonna if you're reselling or if you're going to keep them for personal or even if you're going to go ahead and do both and anyways guys make sure that y'all smash up that like button we need 100 likes on this video if you're new to the channel make sure that you guys subscribe getting pretty close to 3,000 subscribers so let's go ahead and smash that y'all know that big goal is rough to 10,000 subscribers and you guys stay tuned for the video tomorrow and stay tuned possibly on the resale page. I should have a piece up for sale. It's gonna go along with the video. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is, but I'm pretty sure a few of you guys already have an idea. It is another unboxing that we got. Um, it's fire in my opinion, of course. I think all my videos are fire. But anyways, guys, I just thank you for all the support and continuing to watch my videos, you know, interacting with me, hitting me up, keeping me in the loop. Just thank you for all that. But anyways, guys, it's Chris Lee, aka C-Easy, and I'm out.